Hi, I'm Skelton and in this video I'm going to show you how to use Tinkorki Mapper in order to play some games uh, in an emulated uh, mode, in an emulated gamepad like uh, MOGA for instance that allow that some games that have no sp specific support for buttons can be played uh, with the buttons of, of the device. So in order to do this I just boot Tinkorki Mapper and I'm going to show you how to configure it. Okay, this is my my config, uh, the last game that I, I have been playing. So I'm just going to settings. Okay, as you can see the different settings that the key mapper have and I just go to devices gamepad. Devices gamepad and we can see the our virtual gamepad mode. So you can see now it is in Team Core. So I'm going to choose the mode M. Okay, we have a message that uh, this change is required to shut down the mapper. So I just tell to shut down. Okay, now I put it again. Okay, and now I just have to select an input profile, a profile which is a pre-profile with gamepad. As you can see, these are the buttons of my gamepad, my sticks, my buttons, etc. So i just going to name it and for instance I'm going to call it, I don't know, I would just have to try again so I'm going to select Nova for instance and I'm going to accept it. And Basically that, that's it. It's quite simple. Now I'm going to to select a game. In this case the game which will be Nova 3, which is a game which only can be played with MOGA controllers. Okay. I personally don't don't like this game. I, I don't play shooters or well I practically never play Android games but I <coughs> I just got that <coughs> that sorry. I just got that title in order to, to show you. Okay, as you can see it shows a message. Well it's in Spanish but but it's basically press any button to continue is what the message says. Okay, as you can see, the device thinks that we have a this gamepad. So basically, okay, there is uh, one thing I, I like to just playing. As you can see, the R2 and L2 buttons, L2 is shoot and R2 at uh, aim. Sorry, it's, it's the other way around, but uh, it's okay. But in this in this mode, basically, uh, since uh, we are emulating a MOGA pocket, the shoot will be R1 and L1 for the other mode. So, okay, I'm, I don't want to, up, to update the game, I'm going to select continue. Okay, I'm going to increase the volume a little bit. Okay, I just press the button. And as you can see, I can play directly with controls. I can move the camera with the right stick, I can move the character with the left stick, I can shoot. Okay, I, I play very badly, sorry, because I, uh, as I say, I, I don't usually play that game. So, I'm very 
useful playing, but I, I think that you can get an idea. You can see you can play directly with the with the controller, so I can, for instance, show a grenade, and that's it. Basically, it's a very simple way to to play with uh, games that require that kind of controller with with this mode. As, as you can see, uh, this mode is is quite simple to use. It doesn't mean that all MOGA games can be played using this because some games have a, a, a kind of auto detection differently than that this one. But it's a very simple way to to show the game. For instance, I'm going to call Team Core game. Okay, and basically, in order to use that, sorry, in order to use that uh, that mode, the only thing that that you need is it's an add-on, okay, the add-ons and support. Okay, I am not online, so. But basically, you need the analog stick output. To in order to to play with this with this mode, and that's it. I hope that this video is useful to you. And if you have any doubts, just contact me. Thanks.